Hey guys, I'm Esme. If you forgot, I'm not blonde anymore or pink haired. Now my hair is light brown and that's just my avatar right now. I'm going to be showing you guys how I do like my everyday makeup. I wanted to say like my everyday natural makeup just because it's like so different from what I would do before. <laughs> but it is in no way natural at all. It's just less drama but still very cute and just like a nice beat for like every day or going out. I try to like film and somebody has been always facetiming me every single time. I got you on candy camera, ho. What's up? Well, I'm gonna film this YouTube video. Why you miss me, Chef? Yes. Is you wearing a Kooksta shirt? Yeah, she is repping the Kooksta. Well, to get into it, I already primed my face. I used this NYX Pore Filler Targeted Stick. I like to like press it in. I find that like pressing in product really like puts it in place rather than like smearing it. And then I use the Bye Bye Pores Hyaluronic. Um, there's big words. It is from It Cosmetics. I like to always have like a pore filler primer and then like some type of serum. We got the canvas prepped. I am going to take my favorite, favorite foundation right now. It is from Catrice Cosmetics, the True Skin Hydrating Foundation. It's in the shade 43 Neutral Macchiato. This foundation I just love to wear every day because it is super like just skin like and it's like buildable from like medium coverage as well but i just like to do one pump i find that like as soon as i squirt this onto the sponge the sponge just literally eats it all up and i'm like Ugh. and this is like super easy to blend like i'm done already Usually when I put foundation with a brush, I'll like go over it again with a sponge just to like really put it in place. But as you can see, like this is already blended super nicely. There isn't any like brush strokes, which is... Now we are going to take my Jo... <laughs> Let me look up how to say this. I'm pretty sure it's Joy. Guys, another FaceTime call. I'm telling you, my hopes hitting me up left and right. What's up, Kelly? Jouet. Jouet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Google. I am taking my Jouet contour stick, and this is in the shade Amber. It's real snazzy or whatever. I'm just going to contour. Um, I. I don't really know what I'm doing on my nose. I just kind of do that. I'm just gonna contour. Oh, that was actually probably a lot. But now I have to do it on the same time. I know the makeup girlies will feel me because it sucks having like so much makeup because it's fun in the sense like you have more to play with. But my makeup girlies know how much of a bitch it is to like clean your makeup vanity and then you gotta do your makeup again and it's ruined and now you gotta do it all over again so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to blend out this nose contour and when i'm blending out my nose contour i try not to like um move it around too much i like just blend in the spot that i applied it because that's what keeps the shape and like have it looking snatched and structured. Now it gives miss. I can't breathe. Nah, just kidding. Okay, so <coughs> Miss Girl. <coughs> when she barks, like I'd be wanting to tell her like shut up. But then I'd be like thinking, I'm like, damn, imagine being a dog and like the only times you want to speak and like the only times like you want to say something and bark your owner tells you to shut up and you have to listen to your owner talk every day so like when she be barking i let her bark sometimes but then my roommates get gets mad because he's like shut that bitch up 
And then, what's just confusing about her though, is like, she will bark like that, and then the person will come in and she'll be like, Bitch, you was all bark, no bite. So I just took the Dragon Beauty Translucent Setting Powder in Invisible, my favorite. I could throw away all my setting powders and just use Miss Dragon Beauty. <laughs> Ever seen Dragon Beauty? She knows what she's doing. And then I like to set it with a brush. This is from James Charles Morphe collection. As you guys are seeing right now, when I'm like setting the concealer, I like to also go on the sides of my nose and just kind of bake on the side of my nose. Kind of cleans it up a bit. This setting powder will have your under eyes just looking so... I want to say face tuned. You just look soft, blurred. It's just so magical. Y'all need to be on this. Now that I've concealed and set my under eyes, I am going to take this Real Techniques brush. When I blend my contour, I use like an upwards motion. What contour is all about is like uplifting the cheekbones. You never ever want to drag down with your contour. Now just take like the excess bronzer that's already on the brush. I'm taking this Real Technique brush. It is called a blush brush, but I use it for bronzer. And I'm taking the Hula bronzer. I'm like taking very little like i don't want any more color on my face i just want to set the cream okay so now the contour and the base is done i'm gonna add some blush oh geez no this palette i've had this morphe palette since i was like probably 17 16. it comes with every like shade of blush that you need so it's just been my tried and true my nars orgasm blush has was my tried and true but look at her now like <laughs> She's crummy. <laughs> I am going to take my blush brush from the James Charles palette. I kind of go like doot, 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 and I like apply kind of right under like neath my eye and I go upward and to the side like that. So like with my makeup, I always use like an upward like motion just because I find that it kind of like lifts the face a little bit on the nose, maybe a little too much blush. But what I like to do is put a lot of blush because blush is the first thing to like dilute and like kind of fall from your makeup. That is my base done. First, I do eyebrows i used to love the big feathered brows and even before the feathered brows i love the big sharpie block caterpillar eyebrows i don't know when i like went blonde i just wanted to change i wanted to be just kind of like shocked in my look that i had to figure out my look again doing like the whole blonde and then like playing around with my look and then like just I made my eyebrows thinner. I bleached my brows, so it kind of looked a little wonky with my eyebrows like not done. And then I kind of tweezed them a little too much. And I was like, well, we just gonna rock with this skinny brow. And I honestly love the skinny brow now. Like, I just think if it shapes my face in a different way that it, like kind of makes me just look more snatched. Okay, so my eyebrows are filled in and I'm going to clean them up with not this concealer this con no not this concealer mm. Quit hiding, bitch. this concealer the elf hydrating camo concealer satin finish in medium sand this is like a little tip trick that i learned from makeup by ariel watching his tutorial he said that he likes to clean up his eyebrow with a concealer that's similar in shade to the foundation he doesn't really like a carved eyebrow. I've noticed when I did it with light concealer, like it would be noticeably light right here and then like it would fade into the bronzer, but I like this way better. She's just hopping on her little bean bag. It was my bean bag before, but she took over both of my bean bags. I'm like, okay girl, go off. If I was you, I would not want that small dog bed either. Queenery only. Okay, now I've like thrown some concealer on the eyelid. I am going to take my Urban Decay. I'm like, <laughs> eyelash glue exploded on the palette, but 
this is how the palette looks it has like some warm orangey tones and i'm going to take this shade for the transition area and i'm starting like on the outer corner placing the color there i'm actually gonna take a different brush a more fluffier brush So I'm only blending that out on the brow bone area. Okay, so now that that orange is blended, I'm gonna take the darker orange that's next to it and apply it in the same place. But I'm gonna kind of more stamp it rather than fully blend it into the transition. See how that blends so nicely together? I'm gonna take the same orange and bring it down to my eyelid but still keeping it on the outer edge okay so now i have it all blended out i'm gonna take this nude peach pink so i'm just patting that on and i'm like patting i'm not like like smearing it if you want pigment you have to pat i'm only taking it halfway onto the lid okay so now the eyeshadow is done i'm gonna curl my eyelashes i'm gonna take this telescopic carbon black l'oreal mascara and i'm gonna apply just a light coat because i'm gonna put on some eyelashes okay so i ended up doing my eyeliner after i put on the coat of mascara I'm gonna line my waterline with this NYX Jumbo White Eyeliner. You see how it just brightens up and makes my eyes appear to be a bit bigger? Okay, so now I'm going to put on my eyelashes. These have been my favorite eyelashes since high school. They are the Amour Wispy Lashes. I'll put them on. So my lashes are on. Do you see how like alive and just bug-eyed? <laughs> my eyes look i love 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 this eye moment going on it makes it look super cute and the lashes give enough drama to where it still looks natural but it still elevates the look but you want to set your face once the mascara is all dried and done because the mascara will run and it'll ruin your under eyes and you'll be pissed honestly Y'all know I've been doing this little lick trick. Y'all see that shit? I've been doing this little lick trick for so long. Setting spray is expensive. Lickamus is free. Look at that glow. Holding the brush at the end gives just a little like soft effect to the highlight. So it's like glowy, but not like a line of highlight that I used to do. Lick a lick. And if y'all wondering how eyeshadow tastes, it just tastes like Smarties is what I would describe it as. So I'm just highlighting, doing my nose. And then, oh, here it is. I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm in how many carrots? It's just the like shimmer one and boom. Y'all see that shit? I know y'all see that shit. Look at this side. Ew. For photos, it just reflects so nicely. Got to highlight up here. Luna, stop being a Lickamus. That would actually be Luna's Pokemon, Lickamus. We're almost done, we're almost done. We just have lips to do. I'm just taking some eyeshadow. This is the Maybelline Ultimate Lipstick in the shade More Buff. Buff boy shade. Uh, uh, Popeye. That's my lips. Face. Yeah, so this is the little lip. I'm done. Okay. I really love how this makeup turned out. It's what I've been doing like the past month it's cute it's simple ish kind of but it's still giving like everything that it needs to give luna how we looking is you good miss girl oh my earrings what if there's 
one thing this hoe needs is her hoops okay now i'm done with my makeup and this is the completed look guys even cuter i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial if you guys recreate this look please tag me just talk to me in the comments i want to reply back i miss you guys so much if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and you know all that jazz i'm gonna tell them to subscribe subscribe to the channel right now bitches bye